Disparity of pay and opportunities in sport has been a major topic of discussion this year. 2023 has seen a great success for women in sport with the under-19 and senior women's T20 Cricket World Cups, the FIFA Women's World Cup and the Nepal World Cup. They have been making headlines. But concern has been expressed over the underfunding of women's tournaments. Female athletes earn considerably less than their male counterparts and they often get shortchanged in contract negotiations, whether it's for wages or even sponsorship. Now, back in August, Momentum hosted the inaugural Women Who Make Moves in Sports Summit, where women gained vital skills and tools to help them get the most out of their sporting talents. Lawyer and sports agent Karabo Tabuse was part of that initiative, and she joins me now to chat about those empowerment skills. Karabo, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for making time for us. Now, what exactly is it that the ladies that attended that event, and I think even the men, because this is not even just a conversation that only men, uh, that only women uh, must be having with themselves, but men need to be part of these kinds of conversations as well. What is it that you feel that was taken out of that initiative in August? It was such a great initiative. Thank you for having me and good morning. Uh, Morena, that initiative for me is one of a must-have for any sporting athletes. And I think that the female athletes were treated to industry leaders and coaches in a room imparting knowledge. You know, it's one thing if we have um, sports and corporate leaders coming in to sponsor the game, but the uh, Momentum Women Who Make Moves in Sports uh, initiative was all about imparting skills and knowledge from sports lawyers like myself to sponsors coming in and saying, what should athletes be looking out for in contracts? And so it was all about giving them tips and skills, legal advice, that you don't have to accept the bare minimum in a contract just because you want the sponsor or you want the agent. And so it really was a two-day intensive workshop about imparting knowledge to uh, female sports athletes. What are some of the most important things that a female athlete needs to look out for? Because, you know, you're young, you're incredibly talented, but you don't have the necessary skills, you don't have the necessary knowledge, you don't have the necessary support because you're a woman. And in, not even just in this country, but around the world, women are always seen as lesser than in any kind of sport. So what are some of the things that you are literally trying to drive in on women to make sure that they are empowered enough to, when they're sitting across from either a brand or a sports team, that they're saying that, I know my rights, I know what I'm worth, and I know what I need to be getting out of you and what I'm going to be giving you. So what is ex exactly is top of, the very, uh, of your list, at least as a sports agent, that you're sharing with uh, these young and up-and-coming up athletes? Yeah, I think, you know, no one expects the athlete to know it all. No one expects the athlete to be coming into the table, having already their schedule of entitlements. Mm. But one thing a sports athlete needs to know is that they are bringing something to the table and they have dreams that should align with the corporate stream, you know. And so I think one of the major things that we say is know that you don't have to accept the standard terms, mm. the bare minimum. You know, if you're a sports athlete and you know that your image is going to be used widely by the corporate, start negotiating around the boundaries of that image. You know, what can you wear if it's a sponsor that is giving you technical or apparel? Well, you know, what other things can you get involved with? So I think it's just aligning the dream with the boundaries of entitlements for the sponsor and know where you're going. You know, if it doesn't make you comfortable, you should push back and negotiate. Another big thing Thing, Morena, I must stress is mm. the fees. A lot of athletes just take what's given to them. And I think particularly for female athletes and females in general in the workplace, you know, there is this hesitation with negotiating. Mm. And I think that because you know you're being pursued as an athlete, you should negotiate and push back on what's just put on the table. What kind of exploitation do we see in your industry, um, Garabo? And I know it's going to sound like you're essentially uh, you're snitching on some of your counterparts in sports agency, but this needs to be shared with people that do not know, that are not in the know, and that are really being exploited for their talents. What kind of exploitation do we see of our athletes? And it doesn't even have to be female. It could also be male. Yeah, I think, I mean, you see things like exclusivity, um, you see things like the image of an athlete being something that is not really negotiable. It's a take it or leave it. 
um, particularly when uh, athletes are coming as a group and representing either the country as a group, you know, um, the federations or the corporate sponsors really on a take it or leave it basis. But I, I must I must be honest, you know, I think the hashtag she owns her success campaign is really teaching um, women and athletes in general to say you can draft the terms and conditions. My advice is to seek legal experts, seek agents who are in the industry, in the game to help you push back because there's no cause for this for athletes, you know. So my tip is to always empower yourself with the expertise that matter. This is obviously a conversation that cannot be had, you know, once. It's something that needs to continuously happen because there's going to be, you know, transfer seasons coming up in football. There's going to be all sorts of things that are going to be happening. You know, we're going to be going to World Cups, going to Olympics and such. And athletes need to know that when they come back, like, for example, a FIFA Women's World Cup, you know, we've got superstars that have come back from there, from Banyana Banyana, that brands are going to want to be talking to them. And they're going to need people like you, Karabo, uh, to ensure that they're whispering, whispering all the good things in their ears. So this is definitely a conversation we're always going to continue to be having. But for now, I'll leave it there with you. Thank you so much for making the time uh, to speak to us here on ENCA. That is uh, lawyer and sports agent, Garabo Tabuse, just talking to us about, you know, what you look out for as a female athlete, especially because they're the ones that are getting more exploited in the world of sport because it is said that they're not bringing in the kinds of monies that the guys are bringing in. But thank you very much to her for joining us.